So a couple of days ago, I reported that the Dallas rapper that goes by the name of Sir Tez, who used to be like Mo3's day one partner. Now, of course, a lot of people say that that song, Everybody Ain't Your Fan, Everybody Ain't Your Partner, talking about betrayal. They're saying that Mo3 made that song for him. Of course, it's not actually confirmed yet. Anyways, now, as of late, he has been down with Trapaholic, Trap the Dunn, Trap Boy Freddy, Zeddy Wayne, and just like a lot of people that, you know, Mo3 was kind of against anyways well i did report that he had actually his car had been shot up about 10 times now the 10 you know the 10 shots that he actually received to his car uh now people thought that he potentially passed away because he did get brought to the hospital in a rush due to the injuries which means he did you know he did get struck but he actually just made a return to instagram which means that he did not die anyways i'll let you know exactly what buddy said whenever he returned right after the intro Welcome back to Key Talk Media. This show's Key Talk. Check it out, man. All right. I'm going to get shout out to the notification game. Key Talk Game for rocking with me every single video. If it is my voice right now, go ahead and hit the notification bell so you get a notification every single time I drop a video. Anyways, so it does look like the shooting did happen inside of North Dallas. And of course, North Dallas was Step of Man three times Mo3 stepping grounds, which is leading a whole lot of people to believe that it was potentially some of Step of Man three times people that kind of slid on Buddy, seeing the fact that they were kind of like into it at the time that Mo3 actually passed away. And of course, this was the guy that I believe, you know, uh, you know, people was coming out saying that it actually did that to step him in three times, which has not been confirmed or actually denied. <laughs> I mean, they did pick up Key One White, but of course, you still got a lot of people saying, nah, it wasn't Key One, it wasn't Key One. Anyways, who knows? Anyways. So pretty much, Buddy Sertes popped back up with a message, and the message that he actually popped back up with, you know, he it's a picture of him, I'll put it here. He's inside of the hospital, of course, from being shot, and he says, a real stand-up. I was born on my feet. I don't even lay down when I'm going to sleep. Thankful for all prayers sent up for me. Couldn't have did it without you with the heart emoji. So he definitely survived. And you know how the screech go, how the screech play it. You know what I'm talking about? Whoever did this, you know what I'm talking about? Maybe he knows, maybe he don't know. More than likely, he do know. Uh, people typically do know who they, you know, are at odds with and who trying to, you know what I'm talking about, get them gone. So we'll just have to see how this all plays out. Now you know. I definitely saw a lot of y'all saying uh, in the comment section of the previous video that you didn't really know too much about his music. Uh, of course, I've got a lot of people that watch these videos. Some from Dallas, some not from Dallas. But you may also remember him because he's actually the guy that got into the fight with Rainwater at the zoo. You know what I'm talking about? Whenever I had unlocked Rainwater, it's like I think it was like Golden Gloves or something like that. But he pretty much got into a fight with Rainwater at the zoo. And that's what everybody was something like, dang, so Rainwater was fighting with his hip broken all stuff like that anyways now he does have music as well but the good news like i said about all this is the fact that he did survive let me know some coming down below let me know what you think about this entire deal i'm out